Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're talking about Capricorn in the second house in our D1 birth chart. So before we begin, I'd just like to let you guys know that I am a I am a Vedic astrologer, and so if you want a Vedic astrology reading with me, you can go to vincent.thunderwizard.com and purchase a reading. Uh, in that reading, it'll include your own personal uh, mantra and ritual to the planet that wants to help you achieve your soul desire and achieve your dharma in this life, your highest path of your soul. So, um, if you would like to get that reading, then you can go to vincent.thunderwizard.com. Uh, so let's talk about Capricorn in the second house. So, in order to kind of understand this placement, we need to understand what the sign of Capricorn represents and what the second house represents. So, Capricorn is all about hard work, it's all about discipline, it's about structure, organization, career, uh, you know, doing things right, building like a long, a long-term legacy, building like, a, you know, an empire, basically. It's very structured, organized, disciplined, and, you know, it's all about, it's all about achieving things and achieving success and things like that, so. So yeah, that's what uh, Capricorn is about. And then we have um, what is the second house about? Well, the second house is all about, um, it's all about your, uh, your finances. It's like your, it's basically your savings account. So the 11th house would be like your incoming gains. And then your second house would be like your savings account, so what you have store, store, stored up and saved up. Um, so yeah, that would be the savings. Um, and it also includes like um, your values, so so what you, what you value, uh, things like that. What your, kind of like your family values and, and things like that and things that were instilled in you when you were uh, very young and, and perhaps these are like unconscious things that were our values or traditions or things like that that were instilled with you, in you uh, when you were young like uh, you know some things can be communicated unconsciously between your parents and you so when we're super young like really young babies we pick up on all the energetic signatures of our parents and so those values can be instilled into us without our even our conscious awareness of that so um so yeah this is uh what the second house is all about the second house is also relating to your uh to your throat and your mouth and it has to do with um your what you eat and things like that what you take in things like that so yeah uh so if we have capricorn in the second house then what does that mean that means that we are a uh sagittarius ascendant so uh if we are a sagittarius ascendant that means um, well, you'll have to uh, check out my video on Sagittarius Ascendance to get a better idea of like your entire chart, basically. But today we're just talking about the second house and Capricorn in the second house. So Capricorn in the second house basically means that you will value and you will appreciate, uh, you'll like be a basically a workaholic. Uh, you will come to value hard work, you'll come to value uh, discipline, organization, uh, very, you know, structure, you know, very structured life, um, things like that. So all these, all these ethics of, you know, all these values and ethics of like hard work and, and dis discipline and making yourself do things that you might not want to do, they're, those are 
that's what's valued valuable to you so it's like um you know it's it's um it's you value you so basically you value doing the hard things you value spending you know spending a lot of time doing things and making sure it's perfect and you know that way uh you know because it if it's if you spend time and uh, if you spend all your all your like focus and all your energy on doing one thing perfectly rather than 10 things half-assed then um it's it's going to uh, be that much better so you'll you know you'll come to appreciate you know putting all all your time and effort into uh, making something happen and uh, rather than kind of going at it halfway so um, so this is pretty much Capricorn in the second house it's uh, the second house is all about your about your values and we have the the sign of hard work and discipline and organization in the house of values and so this also means that your food intake could be restricted um, uh, Capricorn is all is all about restriction it's ruled by Saturn so um, so Saturn wants to restrict you from uh, you know someone with this placement could could have like a you know restricted um, like kind of malnourishment or like you know they didn't get the love and and the the feminine support that they needed when they were a kid uh so someone with displacement could like tend to eat less and tend to um like be a very slow eater so i've uh i've had you know, placements like this, I've had a, you know, I've seen people with the, with these kinds of placements and they, you know, eat very slow and methodically and they're very, <laughs> they're very structured and organized with how they eat. Like, for example, these people, um, they wouldn't want their food touching and things like that. They would want them in like boxes, you know, those, those trays with the boxes. <laughs> that kind of thing so yeah it's uh it's an interesting placement for sure um aside from that you're you're going to have to work really really hard to attain like any any significant savings uh it's going to require hard work and discipline and organization and, and planning and budgeting and things like that for you to uh, for you to save up a, 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 you know a lot you know but that's just one of the things that Saturn wants to teach you is how to save and things like that so let's say if your 12th house or yeah if your second house um, if your second house in if your Capricorn in second house um, has no planets in there, so if it's what we call an empty house, so if there's no planets in the second house, then we would just look at where Saturn is placed, because Saturn is the controlling planet of uh, Capricorn, so it's the ruling planet of Capricorn, so um, looking at where your Saturn is placed will will definitely give you uh, some insight into um, into you know the things that are going on in this house the energies that are present here and things like that so yeah um, it's uh, you know it's anywhere where anywhere where um, Capricorn is placed it can definitely be a difficult placement so you know, just learning how to work with those energies and how to flow with them and uh, not fight against them and stuff like that. Of course, you know, um, you can always uh, get a reading from me and get a remedy for 
uh, any any of your afflicted uh, placements, you know, there's always a remedy. There's always something that we can do to help ourselves to um, to overcome these challenges within our birth chart, and and they should be seen as just challenges to overcome because it's not like you're being punished. It's Saturn Saturn is all about teaching you a lesson. So, you know, it's all about teaching you, you a lesson and and so the quicker that you can roll with that energy and learn that lesson, the quicker that Saturn's going to release his grip on you. So, um Saturn is one of the hardest planets to work with, but uh he will make you work like 10 times harder than anybody else, but uh, the the rewards that he gives you when he releases you of that karmic, that karmic grip um, will, will be uh, really amazing. So, yeah. Alrighty guys, so if you'd like a Vedic Astrology reading with me, you can go to vincent.thunderwizard.com, links down below in the description. Um, if you would like distance energy healing, then you can go to linktree slash gabo the shaman. I am a distance energy healer, I use qigong and I use yoga, uh, like not yoga but just different forms of qigong and uh, this new lightning qigong energy. And basically, um, I use that to um, to send the energy to you. I build it up within my body, and then I send it out to you through uh, through shamanic ritual and things like that. So it's a very powerful combination of both uh, Reiki, Qigong, and shamanism that I do. So it's very powerful. Um, we have career and life coaching. So. Uh, if you'd like to know what your soul desire is, uh, if you want to know what your path and purpose is in this life, then you can go to linktree slash the shaman. And yeah, that's a, that's a really good um, way to find out what your path and purpose is. Just going and booking a consultation with me will lead you through a guided meditation and, and do some one-on-one -on -one uh, counseling with you to find out what that soul desire is. Uh, I also do ongoing life coaching, so for my clients that have dis discovered what their soul desire is, you can work with me on a one-on-one one -on -one basis, like either monthly, weekly, or bi-weekly, um, and it's a very powerful, um, uh, you know, option for you to, uh, it's a very powerful um, thing for you to do to kind of get get oriented on you know your your goals and you know uh, making things happen and and so I'll be there in your corner to like cheer you on provide some provide some uh, you know assistance and some uh, a unique perspective unique perspectives and things like that and um, yeah it's a very uh, good way to keep on track with your goals and to have somebody to be accountable to and things like that so yeah uh, we have that the career and life coaching we also have my support groups so if you'd like to become a part of this support group uh, that is basically all about um, becoming vulnerable with your feelings and, um, you know, becoming open with your feelings too and learning how to talk about them in a constructive way with others where you'll get, you know, the, the support and the encouragement that you need to, uh, to deal with your emotions and things like that. So it's a very powerful and... Um, very powerful and empowering um, opportunity there. So then we have the energy work courses, which are basically um, the Cosmic Qigong right here and the Self Transformation Challenge. So the Self Transformation Challenge is basically a combination of Qigong, Kundalini Yoga, 
and meditation and the lightning qigong so there's a couple forms of qigong there uh, and that is basically designed to unify all the energy systems within your body and bring them into one cohesive unit so that you can uh, manifest and the the system that we use is called qi to shi to yi so it goes from uh, infinite life force energy to the heart mind the uh, the lightning energy in the heart center and then the yi is the intention so we're we're basically transforming life force energy into our intention so and then we can use that to manifest so it's a very powerful tool for manifestation all right guys so all my links and all my courses and all my services and everything that you can find uh you know everything that you need to know from my channel uh, and all the services that i offer is going to be at uh linktree slash gabo the shaman right there so and the links are all down below too so, alright guys, we'll talk to you next time. Peace.